wow. Ouch. Not fucking around, lads. Good old traffic, just get in the way. At least the, uh, you know, cops are still in the in in with the shouts. <laughs> I mean, they're helping by not being too in the way. <clears throat> Up until they get too in the way. Yes. They're they they they're they're crossing a very thin line of like being a mild inconvenience or just literally being in the way. Of course, if you uh, if your accuracy is spot on, you'll be able to blow out the tire and immobilize the car completely. This take, took me a long time to figure out. So the the first few missions of this is just me blowing up, shooting the back bumper until the car explodes. As, as you do with your like machine gun revolver. <laughs> like he's just such a good cop that he's able to just like break revolvers and make them better. Oof. We were taxi surfing there for a minute. And then we got st we got stuck in bullet time, so now we have to get back on track. Here we go. Boy, it's a good thing that the most of LA is on a grid. Nice. That's always handy. Oh. <laughs> well, all right then. If that's the way you want to play it. Just, just fucking bullet them the hell up. Yes. Bullet the fuck up. Nice. So you have you seen around your bullet bulleting things the fuck up? You guys see, mm. guys seen the trailers for or or the gameplay footage of uh, Empire Sin? Mm, doesn't ring a bell. Uh, Paradox game, uh, Prohibition era gangsters. Yeah, it's, it's new on Steam, isn't it? Mm. That's a good setting. Uh, yes, uh, uh, a few people have um, done like comedy skits and uh, gameplay uh, footage. And mm. um, yeah, yeah, you, you're you're you start off making like swill grade alcohol. Ready for action. You can rip it up and eventually you're making like fine ass whiskey. Alternatively, you can make shit tons of swill and then repackage it as fine ass whiskey, try and sell it that way. Oh, that's good. And like then there's that. also just you know brothels, speakeasies, the usuals. Just going around shooting people. And apparently, uh, there's a bunch of like named um, folks you can hire, and uh, yeah. they all have their like your know, quest lines. And apparently, one of them is actually one of the Harlem Hellfighters, and following his quest line gets interaction with one of the officers that gave him a shit, to a lot of shit. Nice. That's cool. That I, that's that's really well researched. Then. I like that. So yeah, uh, that's Empire of Sin, that's you say. Like, Empire said, "Yeah, that that's just the one thing that um, the 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 player was um, f followed up on and, and mm. showed footage of, and decided to like forgive the officer because the officer that they they eventually tracked down um, mm. was basically suffering perpetually from his like extensive burns. Yeah, so they decided just to um, leave him in pain rather yeah. than kill him because like." No, th th there's no happy ending for this guy. He gets to live in pain, or we could kill him. Yes. There's there's no middle ground here. One or the yeah. other. So yeah, here's parking. Now I'm gonna. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna consider this as a safe house. Uh, is it a safe house or is it a hiding place? Ooh, good. Mm. Because these are these are two different uh, tiles. In the yes. Options. Is the hiding place is somewhere where I think you can actively go if you're being like chased and 
you'll you'll duck. I think safe house is just like somewhere you can keep your shit. So I think I'm gonna count that as a safe house. Okay. That's fair. But I need your reason well, Paul. You reason well. Sorry, you just need about a second grab a phone charger. Go for it. Time to hit the road, Jack. Or, uh, we'll keep we'll keep count for you. Much appreciate. <laughs> I love that. The sign just says, pharmacy, 24 drugs. We have 24 tablets. Exactly. <laughs> we keep our stock at a very strict number. Oh, God. And it's... Uh, and it's... I am for types. It's like, yes, uh, this is almost... We have basically a 24-pack of aspirin. Yeah, pretty much. But like it's like two packs. Stuff. One of them, like one of them, is like children's aspirin, for, the, the chewy aspirin for children. Hmm. Oh, is that a chest? Uh, Have you got good those morphine, morphine-based drugs that they uh, they like to sell in America? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, what 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 time does this set in? This game. Yeah. Uh, modern day. Well, modern day for two thousand five. So. Okay. So it's not that area where basically all medication was cocaine. Oh God, no. No, this is this is as like as um, modern day and um, typical LA, where so, every okay. street baser is armed with a fucking meat cleaver. It's, it's LA, so cocaine is like widely available. Oh, widely! <laughs> Literally, you just go down the go around the corner, and you just like you just hit into a massive like white hill. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. It's just like, just shoot your windscreen. That's why they call me the king. <laughs> They're going, damn, I'm good. So there's no, like, auto aim to this, is there? No, or there is. There kind of is. There is kind of an auto aim. It has to snap into the person you're looking at. So you have to kind of like be in their eye line and then aim for like a body part. But like, um, you can snap into them and then you have to just tweak it yourself for whatever you want to aim at. So say if you want to like ice, like uh, eliminate a suspect, let's say, you can go for a headshot or you can hit him in the leg. But, um, but yeah, like the, the actual the control of it is very, very gimmicky. You know, it takes a while to get used to. Oh, what's what's the story with the neutralizer rounds? Well, the neutralizing thing is like if you shoot them in the leg, they they can't move, and you can arrest them. Oh, that okay, way. so so they're all lethal shots, but some of them pretty yeah. much, yeah. But like a le like a neutralizing one will stop them. From, uh, oh, that's that's a shame. But, well, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> you can't just uh, GTA like arrest the car and like go after them. Yeah, we know we can, yeah. Um, but um, but uh, as was like Sid, Sid, Sid Roy, I think most of the cars are like generally frail. And for some reason, the game would, would refuse me the opportunity to drive my own car. Wow, I totally thought it was and plus our car is class. I don't want to, I don't want to leave it behind. Perfect. I mean, we won we in a street race. I mean, that's that, that's not for nothing. Now we come back for round two. Let's destroy someone else's car now. Well, I'm glad you aren't leaving any trees behind. <laughs> Leave no tree unturned. Hey, the air pollution is bad enough as it is. We might as well make it worse. Start shooting other people's cars. Yes. Save the planet! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Double down! <laughs> Back into your burrows, you bitches. I do like we have very like chill like soul music as we're hunting down a street racer. Great music choice here. Nice. We did kill somebody doing that though, apparently. And they have it, we are officially a bad cop. 
Don't you just love to see it? Hooray! Back up, back up. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna so, do when he comes to the hollow? What's the ending between good and evil? Like, good and bad endings? Uh, yeah, I think it is just bad, good and bad endings. I think it's also like, if you're a bad cop, then nobody likes you and they start fighting you as well. And cops even go after you, I think. If you're a good cop, everyone likes you and leaves you alone to your work. You like the two identical twins there, just walking past? Now, Aiden, you, you do a lot of fighting in your life. Do, do people actually call out their finishing maneuver well, before they do it? Always. <laughs> and, and pray tell, what's your finishing maneuver? <laughs> I always hear the sound effects of my punches. Bang! <laughs> Pow! Like Batman. I love, I, I love the uh, the billboards for uh, for Puma here and like for True Crime. Yeah. I, I love, I love. This is the period of PS2 games where like just like brands were happy to just like let them at it, and then they realized, oh shit, we're losing money by not fleecing these cons. Let's fucking get them back. Like it's weird. Like you, you could play a PS2 game and it's like every like every game kind of has its own phone manufacturer in it. So, like Need for Speed for some reason had this weird deal with Nokia, and then suddenly with like then it was Motorola. It's like. Why is there a bidding war for Need for Speed? This makes no fucking sense. Nick Kang live from the crime scene. Live from the crime scene. There's also stealth missions. <laughs> Which we can now tick off. Thank you, Aiden. Wait, the actual stealth missions. Okay, then. Actual stealth missions. Check this shit out. They stole every fucking genre. <laughs> They could get their little hands on. <clears throat> it is literally like a, a, a jack of all trades, master of none game. Let's see if I can get to Jimmy quietly. <laughs> this really is just like a bunch of action movie cliches. Pretty much. Yeah. It was, I was like thinking like uh, Fists of uh, Fury, that kind of thing. Hmm. Shut up! <laughs> I love that, I love that that's the um, that's the stun attack. It's just like two chops that go shut up. Like the obligatory uh, terracotta army as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, John, you have a trank gun, don't you? I do. Yes. Would that be a distinct weapon? Well, we we already had secret weapons ticked off from all the ones that like the criminals drop, so. That's okay. Oh, right. Oh, okay. All right. No, I didn't. I missed that one. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I can do a rundown um, when this mission's over, if you like. In case everything... In case you've missed anything. Whoops. Shut up. <laughs> like a cat. Hmm? Meow. There's a way that, like, your mouth is like... stuck to his, like, friend on the floor. <laughs> he goes, this is fine. To be fair, that looked like he was going for a slash. The way his hands were kind of held. It's like, right, well, no one's looking. Mm -hmm. Time for my secret <laughs> knockout move. <laughs> Push in the back there. Pow! <laughs> it's very important that it Come gets or heard. <laughs> <laughs> It's suspiciously quiet here. Ooh. Could it perhaps be a setup of some kind? What a yeah. waste of a stunt mission. Yeah. So much for being sneaky. But hey, get the guns out, lads. Lock and load. So this is just a shootout, so I'm gonna count this as a rampage mission. Hey. Which I have. Wow, uh, they'll I, feel yes. the sneak. And well, I mean, smash all the valuable things that are getting smuggled. Yes. Well, it's Nicholas Kang Wilson, so we just have to take him down as best we can. 
so I, good to look up the soundtrack after this. So good. It, it is peak 2005, like. Again, back in the time where like they did just like pick like the bet the, the coolest sounding music for for games. There were literally no rules. And yes, Paul, we are currently shooting a submachine gun and a revolver at the same time. As you do, as you fucking do. I, I just love that you're. Now, is, there any, now, now, is there any difference in the fire rates? Yes. <laughs> I just love that you're nonchalantly destroying priceless artifacts as well. <laughs> hey, it's not ours. We don't have to deal with it. It's not our problem. Jeez, fellas. I just wanted to ask a few questions. Hey, don't shoot, man! Ah, Jimmy Fu. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. You're a cop? I was ordered to play rough, okay? Something big is going down. Look out, sniper! Ooh, nice. Get down! Now, lads, I'm going to oh. treat this as a sniper mission. Average. Sniper, um... Yeah. Okay. Now, this is where, at this point, you would have maybe learned how to do guns, but um, I wasn't at the stage yet, so... This was a fun mission. Ouch. Yeah, the lock-on is not great, I'll be honest. Lock on, it's more like, hey, I just gone vaguely that direction, and now turn 90 degrees that way. Yes. I will say, they picked the best music for this one mission. They did. <laughs> I can't remember what the, what is that song? I can't remember it. I remember hearing it years ago. Is it is Taproot, yes. Because I remember it was, in another, it was in another game as well, and I can't remember where, what it was. Could be me for speed. <laughs> I, I didn't make a speed of Midnight Club. I remember those games had very similar soundtracks. To be fair, they were similar games, to be honest. <laughs> they really just nicked shit off each other all that time, didn't they? <laughs> I would say that like this, this really reminds me of like the Spider-Man Two game. It's kind of like uh, the doubling uh, after. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good show. <laughs> Well, as I said, Peter, if you win the bingo, you can certainly suggest that game for the for the wheel. Mm. As Burkwap did. Oh, no. What happened there? I, I died, is what happened there. <laughs> what? So, what happens if you're out of the oh. badges? The badges is like your is your currency in a sense. So you'll lose you lose some when you're when you die. And, and that kind of yeah, like what what if we run out? I, is it game over if it runs out, Aiden, or is it just that you can't like buy anything? Uh, I don't. I remember when I first played um, um, it was always stuck on bad cop for some reason. Stop to hear that. 